they turn anywhere between a million and a half to $5 million a year. Uh, so when we bought it, I, I immediately took it to my, my friends and said, look, got to take this e-commerce. I did the math. It's a $30 million business. Just essentially what I did, I had another associated with us um, and uh, he referred me to uh, Derek. Derek, I just thank God for you. Uh, what all of your advice has proven out. There's not one thing you've told us to do that was not on target, actually ahead of the curve a little bit. I am grateful to God for you. And my, my goal is to have you around throughout all the evolution of, of the business and be an integral part. Uh, that's, that's my plan. Hi, everybody. Derek Whitehead here. First of all, I wanna thank everybody for attending the webinar the other day. And uh, I love doing these webinars. I mean, absolutely love it. I've done several of these now and they're all been just packed. I mean, packed to, to the rim uh, with lots of great, great questions. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna address a few of them. Actually, I wanna to discuss today with you some really, really important things because it affects every one of us. Especially when I see new clients of mine who have a lot of potential to get as much as 1 million in, in funding and scale their business to a, a multi-million dollar company, right? But they don't just do it for this. They don't just do it for the money, right? People do it for a lot of different reasons. People do it because maybe they want to, they have a dream that they've always wanted to do. Uh, maybe they have an idea that they've maybe invented something or uh, maybe they wanted to uh, always work for their self or maybe they wanted to uh, take a family business to the next level. You know, there's all kinds of reasons. So um, I wanna let you know that this isn't cookie cutter. You know, so a lot of people may have questions and they may say, well, what if I, uh, what if I can't do this? You know, what, if, well, why is everybody else doing it? You know, what if I hear the good stuff, but what's the bad stuff, right? And uh, a lot of times people just say, well, they, I'm, I'm afraid, you know, there's new things I've never heard of. But when you wanted to, um, let's say ride a bike or drive a car, you never drove a car, you were afraid. People aren't born brave. People aren't born brave. What they do is, is they learn to conquer their fear. They learn something new. Of course, they don't jump in feet first and not, not check it out and address it. But I can assure you what we're teaching, no one's teaching it on the internet. The other thing is, is uh, procrastination, right? So let's talk about that. There's some guy who's got a, a, a PhD, not a master's, a PhD, right? A doctorate in, 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 in something. And he's, every day his wife comes home, she's sitting on the, he's sitting on the couch drinking beers. And she says, honey, did you get a job today? And he's saying, well, not today, baby. Can you give me a beer? And so she's going to pass him a beer and he's drinking, he's playing video games. He's got a lot of knowledge, but is that power? Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is not power. OK, sitting around doing nothing or sitting around and being afraid and procrastinating is some of the biggest problems. I know because I was a young man at one point sometime uh, and I did some procrastinating. But once I did my due diligence and found the secrets, there was no stopping. So for that reason, I have invited a friend of mine, a client to read. To, to relate his story, which he's about to tell you, his name is Phil. And um, Phil came to me about maybe about a year ago. And he was, he wasn't, he, he wasn't doing well in his, in, in this, he wasn't, he didn't even actually have this business that he's doing. Right. And he was full of doubt, him and his wife, very good people, but they were full of doubt. Right. And so there were some things that I said, Hey, you know, you need to do. And, and he was, he had one foot in the water, but he was kind of, pulling back. So, but after a while, he did, you know, a few things he, uh, he didn't do that I asked him to do and it set him back a little bit. But then when he finally caught on and he did what I was explaining him to do. Well, let's just, uh, let's just feel, let Phil tell the story. 
right? Can you tell me, Phil, what you were doing before you met me and what has happened in your life since you met me and the name of your company and uh, where you are now in your $35 million acquisition? Okay. Well, um, name Phil Martin. Um, before I met you, I, I was given an offer to buy an existing business, a 70 year old um, uh, home appliance store business. Uh, they, they have a stellar record and they were one of the pillars in uh, the Riverside count, uh, Riverside City in the, in the city of um, Riverside. Um, essentially what I did, I had another associate with us um, and uh, he referred me to uh, Derek. And our goal, my goal is to do it the right way. Uh, my background, I'm a business intelligence developer. I was a professor at Whittier College and my whole, my whole background is information and, and uh, uh, collecting, assimilating and understanding information, uh, especially geographical. And so when uh, I was given a software, first thing I did was look it up, see if it was a good deal. Absolutely great deal. Uh, the owners are white, I'm black, and they, um, they sold it to me. Um, we pre I presented a plan to them to take the business to the next level. Since, they're, uh, since they were roughly about 70 years old, uh, the, the business, they did not get into the internet. They weren't really savvy with uh, uh, e-commerce. Um, and uh, social media was was a word they weren't used to using. So walk in and they, they turned anywhere between a million and a half to five million dollars a year. Uh, so when we bought it, I, I immediately took it to my, my friends and said, look, got to take this e-commerce. I did the math. It's a 30 million dollar business just uh, on his face with the. Uh, the history, uh, not only that, the buying power. So what I did, I had my attorneys draft up the purchase. I bought all the inter uh, uh, intellectual property, all the contracts, all the client lists, all the equipment, and uh, all the association. I bought everything except for the building itself. Uh, when I met Derek, I basically just had the pieces. I didn't have a uh, corporation. Um, I've had corporations before or moderately successful. So I knew that uh, for this to be successful, I had to do it the right way. So I met Derek, uh, Derek and uh, he presented a plan to me. He was gonna uh, build my uh, corporation the right way, get me the right vehicle. Um, I did a little digging uh, on Derek, nothing bad came up, which was a really good sign. Uh, so we went ahead, purchased uh, the, the, the vehicle from him and he has been with us lockstep uh, making sure that we had everything um, formed uh, the right way for our corporation to look good he's, he's we're still in the, the building phases uh, we since then we we are on the list with sba and sams.gov we are probably the only black owned home uh, plan store business that does full service. Uh, there's a lot of big stores that actually do the same thing. One thing they're not, they're not black owned and they don't do full service. So we're doing uh, repair, installation. We sell um, brand new product. We sell what's called open box, which is return items. And we're gonna get into uh, selling used items and parts. That is just unheard of, just, just unheard of. And being minority owned, it is Hensty. Um, the, uh, as Derek alluded to, the corporation, after running the numbers, we, we should in five years do between 35 and $100 million. Uh, the whole plan is to build it so that it can be replicated, franchised. Uh, we already have uh, on another location uh, in Bakersfield. So what that, that, gives, that gives us, right now we have two locations. We have one that we're building out in Temecula and a, a small satellite store in Riverside, the original location of the, uh, of the store. 
Um, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, Derek, I just thank God for you. Uh, what all of your advice has proven out. There's not one thing you told us to do that was not on target, actually ahead of the curve a little bit, uh, which uh, if we had taken advantage of everything you say, we would have been much further along. And that's, that's my fault. Uh, so right now we're trying to hurry up and get back on program to, so we can, we can finish out the health for our corporation. And Phil, where is the, uh, where's your company located? Uh, exactly. We're located, uh, the new store is located in Temecula, uh, California. And uh, well, we have a satellite store in, still in Riverside City. So. And that's a, that's a $35 million contract with GE? That is, it's, it's that probably a little bit more, yes. They, they are on board to, the thing is, having a Black-owned um, appliance store business is very unique. Uh, uh, so they are posturing themselves to just roll out the red carpet. And as long as we do everything the way they want us to do it, uh, we will have uh, quite a relationship that, that will, uh, we, we'll, we should make quite, quite a bit of noise as, as far as we want to take it. We want to take it local, uh, we can. We want to take it national, we can. And even possibly take it public. Absolutely, that's the goal, and that's 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 your job is to make sure we are fashioned so that you can take it public. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yep. And the name of the company is name of the company is Pivotor, and but we're doing business at Riff, as Riverside Appliance. So our DBA is Riverside Appliance, but the corporation is Pivotor. Wonderful. And now. Uh, you're actually uh, getting other contracts uh, with yeah. the uh, with the government uh, since all this has started. Correct? Is that right? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Uh, they are. The government is required to to release twenty six percent of all of their contracts to minority owned businesses. <clears throat> right now, we're the only ones we know that do full service home and appliance. So theoretically in their contract, roughly they have to spend roughly about a billion dollars. Uh, so it's, we're not big enough uh, to, to probably handle, you know, uh, $260 million worth of work, uh, but uh, you're gonna get us there. <laughs> right. We should be able to do that, probably be stable in about a couple of years to be able to handle that. That's right. Uh, uh, certainly before that, if you, uh, as we discussed, as long as you uh, leverage the money correctly and uh, and do a few other, few, do a few other things, it, it, it should happen. If you go uh, public, the fast way or the slow way, depends. Mm -hmm. If you go and do that shelf, then mm -hmm. we should be able to do it faster. That is purchasing a shelf corporation, a shelf, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. in a reverse merger, as we discussed. But so right. far, um, from in, from inception, scratch, mm -hmm. no company, and us building your company, yeah. and going up to a uh, thirty-five million dollar purchase mm -hmm. is spectacular, and uh, and absolutely wonderful. And, yeah, we will. It would not have happened without you. That's that is. I, am, I you know, I'm I'm not a kid. I'm uh, sixty-three uh, years old. What I've made is a lot of mistakes. And what I found out is if you're going to do something right, you gotta do, you gotta get the right people who know how to do it. You don't get your friends, you don't get your buddies, you get somebody who's an expert that can tell you the truth and be honest with you. And that's what uh, Derek has been. He's been very honest. And he slapped my hand a couple of times. Like, hey, I did it. I was wrong. But I've learned to take that, fix it, get it right, and keep, keep it pushing. And he's, he has been one integral man. And I, I, am, I am grateful to God for you. And my, my goal is to have you around throughout all the evolution of, of the business and be an integral part. Uh, that's, that's my plan. Well, that's wonderful, Phil. And uh, thank you for your, uh, your kind words and your testimony. And you know I'm here for you. And, and by the way, 
what is your occupation prior to this? Say it one more time. What is your occupation prior to this? Well, I'm a, I'm a business intelligence architect for the medical industry. Um, I was a data architect and what is called ETL, this extrans, extract, transfer, load um, architect for military uh, cities, San Diego, for a lot of major, major corporations, but very big stuff, very complicated stuff is uh, what I've been brought in to do. And like I say, my, uh, my current uh, uh, endeavors were in the hospital. And my job is, uh, like I said, is to grab information, um, transform it and deliver it to its target <coughs> such that it can be used for their particular purpose. Um, very, very tough thing to do, but I enjoyed, I enjoyed that. Spectacular, <coughs> spectacular. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, thank you for the kind words, Phil. I don't have to say I'll see you at the top because you are at the top. Uh, well, now, you, now, well, you're right there with me. So. How far do you want to go? You <laughs> you're right go? there. You're right there with me, and you know, I I turn to the right, and there you are. So, yeah. that's my plan. You know, I, <clears throat> I want to bless you like you're blessing me, and uh, whatever I can do, I'm, I'm here. Uh, we have a lot to do. I mean, all this done was uncover uh, the whole world, the whole uh, just universe of what uh, of potential. And uh, so we're just going to need, need your help uh, to, to navigate through that. Well, I'm certainly here for you. I'm certainly sure. here for you. So thank you for that, uh, for that testimony, Phil. And, and, yes, uh, sir. And uh, we'll definitely keep it moving. And, and, yes, sir. And uh, now we're flying at the clouds and see if we can take it further. Yeah, we need a rocket ship. And I, I need you to, to start building that for me right now. <laughs> Wonderful. You got yes, it. sir. Because okay. I'll be telling you tomorrow. Uh, you got we got a call with uh, your, your banker guys tomorrow. So definitely, you. yes, sir. So, as you can see, with our system, you need to work not at all oddly. Okay, you thought I was going to say you need to work your work your ass off. No, that's what you do when you work for somebody else work your ass off. That's not what we're here to do. It's something that's, that we teach, which is called non-performance income. That's how they ran this country in the, in the beginning. You don't perform, they perform. You walk in the bank and say, hey, can you give me 100, 200, 300, $500,000, a million dollars? Let's, let's look at this. How do you think Oprah gets her money? from the bank, but she knows what to ask them. That's how she gets a billion dollars. So 100, 200, 300, 400,000, a million dollars is not really that much money to the bank, right? So if you use our coaching system, you can multiply the money that we get you, not only get the, get the money that you need to do what you need to do, but we're gonna teach you how to multiply that money. Because remember, when you walk into a bank, the bank, you put $1,000 in the bank. The bank doesn't have $1,000. I know. I was a banker. The bank has $10,000. They, they leverage it nine times, plus the money, the 1000 that you put in there, plus the money, you, uh, plus the interest that you owed it. So they have nine times le leveraging on, on that 1000 that's $10,000 plus the interest, plus the interest that you're given that, that, that they have, right? So they're not losing at all. They want to give you the money, right? So it's as easy as a walk in the park. You don't have to go in with all this special, uh, you don't have to walk in with red shoes and, and uh, briefcases. You walk in knowing exactly what we teach you. Right. So as I said, in the last two years alone, me and my partner, Jaden Stout, we have raised over two billion dollars. That's two with a B, two billion dollars. Right. And people have quadrupled their 
what we've gotten them, right? So imagine Scratch Pub Co. That means taking a person from zero financially. Everybody's something, but I'm talking financially. Taking a person from zero to a publicly traded company or anything in between. So maybe you have a business that you, you, that you wanna start. Maybe you have an idea you wanna do. Maybe you wanna go in and maybe you have five businesses, but you don't know how to leverage the money that you have, right? Bezos, $100 billion. Do you think he has that money in his trunk? He doesn't have that money in his trunk. He gets it from the bank, but he knows how to walk in and give them billion dollar information. So right now, let's just go in and get some of these pennies, 100,000, 200, 300, $500,000 from the bank, right? Because that's pennies to the bank, right? And they want to give it to you. You're helping them and, 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 and you're helping yourself, right? So if that's where your mind is right now, listen, I got to tell you, you should really enroll in our consultation and should, and we'll work together and show you, hold your hand. No one else is doing this on the internet. No one else is going to give you all the pieces of the puzzle and hold your hand and show you what to do with the money. If you have no idea what to do with the money. We've been doing this a very long time and uh, we're the best kept secret. I would be fully surprised very, very surprised if someone is given all the information that we're given, right? So go in and create your business. Maybe you wanna be a Walmart. Maybe you wanna do Amazon. Maybe you wanna be, you wanna be the next Google. Take your company public, right? Who's showing you on the internet how to take your company public? Maybe you're working for Walmart and you're saying, you know what? I'm out of here because we've met somebody that's gonna take us and show us how to do this and work for ourselves. Non-performance income, no scratching when you don't itch, no running around, playing or shooting any balls. If you love shooting balls, fine, but also get that money, right? Again, we've helped athletes, uh, football players, basketball players, senators, congressmen, yes, politicians, right? So surely we can help you. So what I want you to do is when you click the button at the bottom of this video, somewhere in this video, there's a button to click. Click that button and let us explain to you how you can start and easily get this money as fast as possible. Right? So go ahead and click that button, give us a call and let us guide you. It's not cookie cutter. We're going to find exactly what your needs are. And we're going to go in and help you get that money. The bank is your friend. It's a lending institution. It is not a hold your money institution. Do it like the rich do. The poor put their money in, the rich go and take it out. They lend. It's a lending institution. So go ahead and click that button. And I'll see you on the other side.